Hey everybody, welcome back. Monday morning briefing, episode number 83. It's uh, November the 9th, day after election day. Hopefully you got a chance to get out and vote yesterday and uh, do all that thing. We got all that behind us. Um, we're here in the shop today. It's Wednesday and um, running running pretty fast. We've got quite a fit, bit of projects that I'm trying to get done. Like I said, I'm working on my on my list that Claudia made me. I've got stuff that's on our custom list that's been on there for a little while, so we're trying to get a lot of that stuff done and get caught up. Um, some of that is I've got a local customer here that ordered some rifle slings for some gifts. I'm assuming they're early Christmas gifts because she needed them by this week, which is fine with me because it gets them off there uh, as we near Christmas. And uh, I really don't have a lot of Christmas orders this year. I've got a few from some old customers that put their orders in before we actually decided not to take a whole lot um, so it's it's enough I've got enough to do but just trying to trying to work through that but it was nice that she did them a little early because it forced me to get them done I went not to worry about them after Thanksgiving um, also got a guitar strap here this one's been on the list for quite a while you may have seen this one on Instagram um, it turned out really good went a little darker than I than I originally thought we were gonna go um, but once it was all done I really like it it's got a really nice feel I made this one out of one of our material packs that we sell for the guitar straps and it's a um five six ounce body and then i lined it with just a nice chap leather and i use the rough outside of the chap leather facing out and that way it won't slide quite as much on the on the shirt as the guys playing you know playing usually if you're on stage i would assume if you're playing country music which I, i'm assuming that's what this one's going for probably gonna be wearing some type of start shirt uh, for the most part and so i didn't want it sliding around too much but got that done i uh, got another box in from Seloy. i actually got one last week um, from Seloy. If you're looking for good goat skin, good liner, good um, French calf, stuff like that for making bags or lining your boots or lining uh, different different types of products, check out Seloy there in El Paso. Does a really good job. I get a lot of people asking where I get that goat skin because they want to get their own for a separate type project or whatever. Um, that's who I've been getting it from. He's a great guy. If you call him, if you go, you're going to be on the phone a little while visiting with him. He loves to visit and uh, just a really, really genuinely good guy. So give Seloy a shout out there in El Paso. He's got a website and stuff as well. Um, other thing, big thing I guess for me is I finally think I have the zipper figured out in the uh, Weekender bag. So what does that mean for you? Hopefully it means that this bag will come out before our Black Friday sale. We'll talk about that in a minute, but if it doesn't, it'll come out shortly after that, hopefully. I've gotta make another one of these bags here pronto for a good friend of mine and a good customer of mine, been with me for a long, long time, making him one of these. But I wanted to figure out two things. One was the zipper. I had to figure out how to do that to where I was happy with it, because on the first prototype I made, it just didn't end up the way I wanted it to work. It'll work fine for me as an extra little luggage bag. We'll use it. It's not going to go to waste, so don't worry out there. We're not going to waste the leather. Uh, the bag will work fine. It's just the zipper wasn't, wasn't the way I wanted it. And so on this one, I think I've got it figured out now on how to do it. It seems like it'd be a simple aspect, but you, but you, you sew this zipper in after the bag is turned in right side out and finished. And on this bag as well, I did a welting in here instead of the bound edges. Much, much easier. Um, if you watched our kidney bean purse video, you can go back and watch that and see how we did the welts. And when I do this video, you'll see how I do these welts as well. But they worked out really good. Went together super nice. And I was able to add, I changed up the top end of it some and was able to add these scallop pieces here which we can add tooling to because I've got to tool some, do some tooling on the bag I'm making for that buddy of mine. And so I wanted to be able to do that. Plus for the pattern pack for y'all, I always like to put a few options in there for different floral tooling patterns. And that way it's not just the actual construction pattern. So um, we've got one on this side that's a little larger and then one on this side that's a little shorter because of the zippered pocket that we did on the outside, this little exterior pocket here. And um, all in all, really happy with the bag. And so we will begin to make the one for my friend and shooting the video and getting this pattern pack created. And that way, like I said, hopefully no promises, but I'm hoping to have it out Black Friday weekend at the latest. If not, it'll just have to be after that. But another item that we're working on, this one you have seen on Instagram. If you follow us there, we did post some pictures of it completed. We talked about this one last week, which is the rifle saddle scabbard. And um, we've got it. Pretty much finished. I sent the files off for the pattern pack to the printers this morning, and so she's got those, so she'll be making those. I need to start editing the video. We're done shooting the video, so I'll start editing that. That one may come out this weekend, and so we'll just have to see, but we will keep you posted. 
Best way to know about that right as it hits is gonna to be to sign up for the Leathercraft newsletter, which you can do on our website at dgsalary.com. But this pattern pack is finally coming out. Um, I'm really happy with it. This is the second one I've made like this, um, and it went together really good. I've got some really neat tooling patterns that are gonna come with it. It'll come with six different tooling patterns, and they're basically set up like this. So you have a little bit of tooling here on the end, and then some more tooling here on this front side, and then as well as the flap. What that, mainly on a side, Saddle scabbard, at the middle of this is gonna be underneath the fender leg usually um, on a saddle. So you're not really gonna see this. So it just saves you a lot of time. Uh, maybe at some point I'll do uh, like an accessory pack where we'll do a fully tooled front and back, the whole thing completely floral carved. But that is a lot of tooling. Um, that is bumping maybe rope bag size tooling um, because this thing, when it's, when it's opened up, this is a pretty large piece of leather. And so I just kind of opted to do it that way. Some of them come at, out to like here and some of these come out this way. So there's some that are, have a little bit more, some have a little bit less. This is one of the tooling patterns that's in there. All in all, really happy with the pattern pack. I think I'm gonna be real happy with the video and that one hopefully will be out maybe about this weekend. Really the only thing we're gonna have to wait on is make sure that we have the patterns. Um, you know, like I like to do it. I like to have everything ready for y'all when the, when, the, um, when the video drops and that way you're not having to wait another week or so for the patterns to come in. So I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how booked up they are. It is a gonna, it, this one is gonna be a large format print. So it's three pages of three foot by four foot sheets of paper that, um, so I would recommend, again, when this one comes out, we'll talk about it in the video, but um, if you're in the US, just buy the printed version, let us mail it to you. You don't have to worry about taking it somewhere and having it printed. If you're in, uh, you know, overseas, we will sell the digital copy, but um, but it's it's a cool pattern. I'm really, really happy with it. We're, I'm getting a little more efficient on creating the patterns. I think the patterns are, are, are looking a lot better, a little bit more professional, I'm not a graphics designer, but we're doing the best that we can. So working on that. Um, outside of that, we're getting ready for the Black Friday sale. I'm cutting stuff. Again, we are holding some of that inventory for that weekend because our leather shipments are the way they're timed. I'm not sure we'll get another one before then, so I want to be sure and have plenty of opportunity for stuff. Um, and I'm trying to sort out and see how much of everything I'm going to cut. We will have the majority of our of our uh, material packs that we normally carry, the belt material packs, the um, guitar straps, the gun slings, that sort of thing. We will not offer material packs on these new uh, items probably, just because I don't have time to get the dies made. And plus like the saddle scabbard, that's very large. This uh, Weekender bag is the same way, really large. But we'll have a lot of that stuff. We're gonna be dropping a video this weekend um, that, that will be a kind of a, an overview or a summary um, of, uh, of what's coming up that Black Friday uh, sale. That sale will start um, Friday morning at midnight, the 25th, I believe that is, and then it'll run through Cyber Monday and, and uh, close that that night at midnight. Um, so that'll be a, a good weekend to kind of get what you need. Uh, there'll be a lot of discounts. We'll go over all of those in the video that I have coming out here pretty quick. And it'll just be a quick rundown, just kind of talk about some of the stuff that's gonna happen. So we've got a lot of, of new products, um, new merchandise, different things like that, as well as some uh, patterns, obviously. But yeah, we're getting excited. It's getting close. November's moving really, really fast already, it seems. Um, we've got a lot going on next week. Well, this weekend, actually. Uh, my little boy's birthday is uh, this weekend, so we're having a party for him and, and uh, some of his friends and stuff are coming out. They actually have a, a birthday really close to that, so we're doing just one big party for them on Saturday. And then next weekend, we actually have cow shows Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be a very busy weekend next weekend for us um, as well. So I'm trying to get as much shop time as I can, getting in here a little earlier in the morning and then uh, maybe staying a little bit later some nights during the week um, just to try to be sure that I'm staying ahead of things. Work on my list and work on my list for the sale for you guys and keeping stuff uh, ready to go. So, but those are some of the things that we've been working on trying to get ready. We've also been trying to squeeze in some podcast interviews as I can. Um, and um, we had just a little bit of trouble trying to get people kind of scheduled up just because it's a busy time of year. Uh, there's also, there was a tr uh, leather show last week in Pendleton and things like that. So a lot of people that we've reached out to are just kind of having busy schedules just like the rest of us. So we're doing the best we can to try to get some of those scheduled up. I know we skipped one 
one week. Um, here last week we should have had one, but we have one coming out tomorrow and I'm super excited about who it is. Um, I've gotten to know him over the last couple years a little bit at some shows and um, honestly it's somebody that I kind of admire as far as tooling and things like that and so it's going to be a good interview. It was really interesting. Had a lot of fun. Could have talked to him all day. Many of our interviews have been that way. Could probably spend an entire day at somebody's shop just hanging out with them and um, just posting that as an eight-hour podcast. But uh, we've also reached out to a, uh, a few other people that are in some different industries and just waiting to hear back from them to try to see when we can kind of get them in. So we're trying to cram as many as many extra podcasts as we can to get you through the Christmas season because I'm sure you're going to have some later evenings, earlier mornings uh, working in the shop trying to get all your Christmas orders done. So uh, we'll see what we can do as far as having, uh, having as many of those out as we can as they become available. So I appreciate you guys. Um, if you haven't already, be sure and go to dgsaddlery.com, sign up for the Leathercraft newsletter, and uh, we'll see you next week in the Monday morning briefing.